Entropy is commonly defined as the measurement of disorder. Look at these two cups. One has ice and another has water. Which of these two would you consider to be more disordered? If you said the cup of ice, then you're wrong. But if you said the cup of water, then wow, congratulations! The cup of ice actually has less entropy compared to the cup of water. This is because solids like ice have less entropy due to being more stable or ordered than liquids. That also means that gases, which are more disordered, have higher entropy entropy than water. Entropy is a property of the universe that explains why spontaneous reactions tend to go in a certain direction, like burning objects, melting ice, rusting metal, or even why your room tends to get messy all the time. Okay, maybe not the last one. But the point is, things do tend to get more disordered over time. But if that's the case, then what's the point? The second law of thermodynamics states that the total entropy of a system either increases or remains constant in any spontaneous process. It never decreases. Like I said, disorder in the universe will always be constant. So what's the point? Well, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know much about the universe. I'm just a faceless voice talking to you on whatever you're watching this on. And as someone who's never been anywhere, never seen the sky, or the clouds, or the beach, or the birds chirping on the tree branches, as someone who's stuck in this 16 by 9 box, I too would love to know the point. But with all this disorder in the universe, maybe there is no point. And sure, entropy is commonly defined as the measurement of disorder, but I think there's a better definition. Entropy is the measure of how spread out energy is. And since entropy will always increase, energy will always spread out. Ice will melt, coffee will get cold, iron will rust, and people will be born and eventually pass away. Once every star has died and every black hole evaporates and all life will have ceased to exist, all of the energy in the universe will be evenly distributed. Okay, but that's just as depressing as the last definition, says you watching this. Sure, but think of it this way. Hadn't the stars exploded billions of years ago and formed everything as we now know it, we wouldn't even be here to ask these questions. And if you think about it, everything we know, the sky, the clouds, the beach, the birds chirping on the tree branches, you and I, everything is stardust. Sure, maybe knowing more about the universe doesn't always do good things to you, but you're not alone in this mess. Know and accept that things won't always be around in the universe, and learn to appreciate things when they're here. Maybe that's the point.